This week, our artist to know is legendary songwriter and guitar and banjo player, Elizabeth Cotton. You might not know the name Elizabeth Cotton right away, but you'll know some of her songs. They've been covered by the likes of Bob Dylan, The Grateful Dead, Pete Seeger, Joan Baez, Peter, Paul, and Mary, Taj Mahal, Valerie June, just to name a few. Elizabeth Cotton was born on January 5th, 1893, some sources say 1895, near Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Her family members were very music-oriented, and the first instrument she picked up was her brother's banjo. When she discovered the guitar as a youngster, she started cleaning houses for 75 cents a month so she could save the 375 it would cost her to buy a Stella guitar from a local dry goods store at age 11. Once Elizabeth bought that guitar, she developed her unique picking style, holding a right hand strung guitar in the opposite way, so she played upside down. This style is often called cotton picking, and Elizabeth wasted no time getting started writing songs. In her teens, she wrote the song Freight Train, inspired by the sound of the train that passed near her home. Elizabeth married at age 15, which was not uncommon in the early 20th century, and put aside music to raise her kids. Unfortunately, it was a not pleasant marriage, but Elizabeth was able to divorce her husband in 1940. She got work in a department store in Washington, D.C., and it was there that Elizabeth met Ruth Crawford Seeger by chance when one of the Seeger children got lost in a department store. Elizabeth reunited mother and daughter, and within a month, she got a job working in the Seeger home. This turned out to be a springboard to launch Elizabeth's musical career. Ruth Seeger was a composer and music teacher, and her husband Charles was an expert in folk music. Their son Pete, we all know, was a performing musician. One day, a few years after Elizabeth Cotton began working for the Seegers, the family heard Elizabeth playing guitar, and they were immediate fans. They started recording Elizabeth's songs, and her career began in earnest. Her first album was released in 1958, when Elizabeth was in her mid-60s. Elizabeth Cotton toured throughout the 1960s and 70s, and in 1984, at age 90, Cotton won a Grammy for Best Ethnic or Traditional Folk Recording for Elizabeth Cotton Live. That same year, she was honored with a National Heritage Fellowship from the National Endowment for the Arts, which is the United States government's highest honor in the folk and traditional arts. Elizabeth Cotton died in 1987 at about 94 years of age, an artist to remember not only during Black History Month, but all year long. Elizabeth Cotton was a huge influence on lots of artists, including Bob Dylan and Doc Watson, and she continues to be influential. When singer-songwriter Valerie June began learning to play the guitar, she said, At first, I just wanted to learn how to play Elizabeth Cotton's Freight Train. I would have died happy if I just could play that song. In 2019, Elizabeth Cotton was posthumously inducted into the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame. Even when you're in school in North Carolina, in elementary school, you learn about Elizabeth Cotton. She's a legend and part of North Carolina's culture. And her song Shake Sugary was featured in the soundtrack to the 2019 film Troop Zero, which is streaming now on Amazon Prime. The legacy of Elizabeth Cotton continues every week on my show, United States of Americana. Join me Sundays from 8 to 10 a.m. Central on The Current.